Hello, this is Penny Z, and welcome to Debutante Brawl. Um, so, it is the uh, 21st, end of the 21st. It's the 22nd day, post-op, and um, things are turning out really good. Um, like, things are really starting to heal down there, and <clears throat> I'm, I'm really just able to get around a lot better. I haven't, I mean, you know, I, once in a while I have, like, a little pain or something like that, but it's it's really not that often and I mean, it was just nice you know like I what the hell did I do today I don't even remember um I feel like I don't know I guess I worked um yeah no today was the first day on uh, a job that I brought in to my company um instead of uh you know, as a freelancer it's it's I guess I have all the, I'm doing all the graphics for it. And well, a friend of mine is, is helping out. Um, he's he's going to help out for the for for the next two days, for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday job. It's due end of day Wednesday or beginning of Thursday. And uh, it's really perfect um, because it's an Empire job. It's nice because when it's a freelance job, you know, I'm using my own equipment and I'm getting paid a freelance rate. You know, and so when you're working from home, I mean, you get the benefit of working from home. But, you know, like, it's not covering your expenses for having that equipment. And, you know, I mean, like, I've got, I've got, you know, like, a workstation, an iMac, my, my laptop. I've got, uh, you know, a server with two XServe raids. I've got Final Cut Studio, you know, copies of Adobe Production Premium. And uh, uh, I keep up to, have to keep up to date with Cinema 4D and all my After Effects plugins and, you know, like, just to synthize, buju, you know, all these, you know, tracking programs and stuff like that. Mocha. <sighs> I don't know. It's um it's a lot of money. And I kind of slowed down on that stuff. And that's why I'm not doing my own company stuff that much anymore because it really wasn't worth it if you can't, you know, it's not worth it if you can't get the jobs in. And I was having a hard time getting jobs in because of the economic turndown. And before that, because I was trying to build my company and I didn't have a huge list of clients, and so I was doing a lot of jobs at discount and uh, it just really financially didn't make sense and so like freelancing I'm like doing fantastic and uh, you know because you know like when I used to freelance a lot you know it was my rate was a lot lower and now I'm back and I can charge a lot more and freelancing is good but but for working from home like this job is is ideal three days I'm not gonna tell you budget or anything like that that's not your business but um, it's better than my freelance rate. And I can sit in bed. But I was kind of worried because it has to do its cloth simulation in Cinema 4D and uh, that plug that tag is um, component is Cloth Hilda and it's it's a beast. It's not the nicest thing. Any anytime you do simulation, this is so off topic. I'm gonna get back. But anytime you do simulation, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Anyways, regardless. The job stuff kind of is nice because, or is it kind of important because, you know, I mean, I'm dilating and I'm going and doing stuff, you know, here and there, but I mean, I'm just bored. I'm not in pain anymore. And, you know, like work at home is fantastic. So I'm really fortunate to get that. The job I had, I was supposed to be doing Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which would have been tough because I was kind of not ready yet, but I would have taken it anyways. That kind of fell through. I don't know what happened to that. Um, sorry, the camera's moving around a lot. It's balanced, laptop's balanced on my knees. Uh, but then today I got a call and, um, I'm, I'm booked for, I'm kind of, I think I'm booked. Well, I'm on hold for some freelance work, um, in between the holidays, in between Christmas and New Year's, and then a week in the first, like around, around, just, just after the first week of January, the first full week of January. So things are really happening nicely, like, because, I mean, I was getting a little nervous that I, would, I told people that I was going to be available to work from home in January, but I didn't know if I'd really be up to it, because I had no idea what I'd be up for. And it turns out, okay. I mean, I, I think I tackled the problem on this job, and doing that stuff for that other company, it's, it's always nice to work freelance for that company from home. They give me a lot of leeway, and um, we have a good relationship. We have a good relationship, we have good communication. We do kind of. We always have to video chat. Um, okay, so job stuff. Oh, I went to my hormone doctor today, and I've been off of hormones for five weeks. 
So I don't know what that, I don't really understand like what that does because I mean, the, the, you know, being off hormones for two weeks previous to the surgery, I mean, two weeks, well, what's two weeks, you know, like there's probably some changes, but I, I didn't really notice. But then like, you know, surgery and then like all of a sudden I don't have testicles anymore, you know, but I guess the, my doctor tells me that the body doesn't know that, you know, and keeps looking for them or something like that. So it's still released, you know, I'm still have testosterone being released to my system, but they don't want you to get blood clots those, you know, first two weeks after surgery. And so, you know, and like then when you fly, they just want to be safe. And so you're not supposed to start hormones until you get back home. Um, not that I knew what to take anyways, because I thought about that. My doc, you know, McGinn told me like, oh, you can start your hormones back up when you get back home. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, I don't know what my dose is supposed to be. And so I, uh, I had to wait another week to make an appointment, to get an appointment with, with my doctor, um, my doctor Horowitz. And he gave me my hormone regimen. And over the next, over this month, I'm going to be tapering off of Spiro entirely. Um, but he wants me to take it again, just to kind of, you know, mitigate the, is that the right word? Mitigate <laughs> to, you know, counter the effects of, of, of having the testosterone in my system and then, and then just taper it off. So I like for a week, I take my full dose of two pills a day. I don't, forgive me. I don't remember milligrams and all that shit. And then I take one pill a day for a week and then, or for two weeks. And then for the last week I take a pill every other day or something like that. And then I'm done. But I have a fucking three month supply. So I've got like I'm going to have like two months of Spiro. I could just, I guess I could pop that for fun now and then. I don't know. I'm going to throw them out, I guess. Um, and then I guess I'm going to, for a while, at least for a couple months, I'm going to take my normal dosage of, um, of estradiol and Pro uh, Provera. Um, but I'm really glad to be on. I mean, just psychologically, I'm just, I kind of felt like, when do I take them? I mean... Are there going to be any side effects? But I haven't noticed so far. He's like, you know, just in case, you know, you might want to take more Spiro if you start noticing your hair getting thicker and your arms. And I'm like, I'm not going to fucking notice. I've already got kind of thick hair. Um, Daisy, what are you doing over there? God, what else? I don't know. Just, just working and dilating, working and dilating, working, working and dilating. That's it. I think. I don't know. In a week, I think I'm going to be feeling fantastic. Oh, I want to talk about one other thing. One weirdness in this whole thing is when I go out in public, I, it's it's still strange, like walking kind of funny. Like I'm, I can walk almost kind of normal, but I'm just, I, I have, you know, you have a normal gait, you know, a normal way that you walk. And you're, and when you're not able to do it, it's really, you're really conscious and you're kind of like, I'm walking so straight and, and I don't know, it's just kind of uncomfortable just the way that you're walking. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's bizarre. I don't know. I just noticed that when I was, uh, when I went to the store tonight, um, cause I'm an idiot and I burned out my laptop's power brick. So I thought, so I went to the Apple store, I bought another came back, tried plugging the power brick into another outlet. Turns out it's fine. So I guess I have to return that. Anyways, that's just so you know that I'm not the smartest tool in the shed. <laughs>